first thing. You're standing here like this in this fixed position, and you're doing this. You know? Your bicep needs to stretch. It needs to contract. It needs to stretch. It needs to contract. You're here like this. Everything's in your front delt and your delts, and you're here. You're doing these movements. Ah, it feels good. Ah, ah, you get up, you pump, you feel like, ah, but you're not really training your bicep. So you might need to drop the weight, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. That's it. We make it more complicated when we start thinking we need to handle more weight, more weight. The primary goal here is not to contract, not to lift weights. You're not a weightlifter. I'll never be a weightlifter. And for people out there that don't know what a weightlifter and a bodybuilder, what's the difference, I'm gonna explain it to you. A bodybuilder is primarily concerned with contracting his muscles. He contracts his muscles against greater and greater amounts of resistance. By doing that, he's able to stimulate hypertrophy and make his muscles grow. A weightlifter is just concerned about moving weight. You know, and he can boast to you about how much he curls, how much he benches, you know. How much do you lift? You're a weightlifter. It's really not important to me. Primarily what's important to me is being able to make my muscles contract efficiently. I'm going to get a stretch and a contraction. And I'm going to be in control of it throughout the entire range of motion. Does that make sense? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Contract, stretch, 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 contract, four, five, six, oh. Oh. Now that might not look impressive to people at home. I'm a professional bodybuilder. I'm struggling contracting my biceps against 30 pounds of resistance. But somebody at home is like, I could do more than he's curling. Okay, here, that's it. Stretch this, stretch this. Lock your elbow here, that's it. Don't let your elbow move. Yes, one. Stretch, 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 stretch. Two. Three. Four, don't move your elbows. Five, elbows stay locked. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, squeeze. Eleven, squeeze. 12, squeeze. 13, squeeze. There you go. During straight bar curls, Kai has to step in and stop him. Now, if this ever happens to you, then you have to do something different. You might need to drop. You can continue like this. Or you can drop the weight, try to make the movement cleaner, stretch it out at the bottom, squeeze it at the top. Because this stuff like this, if you do these, these reps, and this is the sets that you do with this quality, you may feel like you stimulate something. You may yeah. stimulate a little something. But ultimately, the development that you can really get, you won't even begin to tap, you won't even see it. And if this is all that you do, for the, the week, when it comes to your arm training, your bicep training, over time, the benefit that you would get, the results that you'll be able to see, will be reduced. Does that make sense? So if you do this, you could do this now, but if this is what you do now, you would wanna, in your mind, think about coming back to the gym later or at another time. When nobody's around and nobody's watching you and you don't have to worry about trying to maintain, you know, expectations or meet other people's unrealistic expectations on you and sit there quietly on your room and take it through the full stretch, maximum contraction, full range of motion, you know, 
and walk through it for yourself. Um, Cause you know this stuff, this will feel good, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna benefit you. And I learned a lot based on what he said today, and based on the weights that he was using. I pretty much go too heavy when it comes to weights, and I don't get the right form. I mean, yeah, he's four times the size of me, and he's pretty much doing the same weight I am. So I learned a lot in that, in that area as far as hitting the muscle right and more of contraction rather than worrying about the weight. The one message that has come through to me loud and clear, no matter which athlete I've worked with, Victor Martinez, Craig Richardson, Kai Green, and many others, is that even though they are strong and can move heavy poundages, the weight on the bar is secondary to how the exercise is being performed. If your aim is to compete as a bodybuilder, the main thing you should take away from this video series, besides inspiration, of course, is the knowledge of this very important difference between weightlifting and bodybuilding. In order to shape an award-winning physique, one must master this basic principle. If one's aspiration goes beyond the gym, the nightclub or the beach, and reaches towards something greater, it is a lesson one would do well to heed. Now that Adam has trained with Kai, I don't think it's one he'll ever forget. Thanks. Mom's a waste. It's the best way to put it. <laughs>